Welcome class, today we will talk about complex fractions. Complex fractions are just fractions within fractions. You can have a fraction in the numerator, such as 1 half divided by 3. You can have a fraction in the denominator, such as 2 divided by 3 fourths. Or you can have a fraction in both the numerator and denominator, such as 1 half divided by 3 fourths. Remember, the line between the numerator and denominator is just a division symbol. So, the fraction 1 half divided by 3 can be rewritten as 1 half divided by 3 using an alternate division symbol. Our complex fraction is just saying 1 half divided by 3 divided by 3. So the first thing we need to do is to convert the number 3 into an improper fraction. And we do that by putting a 1 under the number 3. The next thing we need to do is to multiply by the reciprocal. Now, some of you may have learned this step as keep, change, flip. Some people call it keep, change, change. But guys, the real way to say it correctly mathematically is multiply by the reciprocal. So what I'm going to do is leave the one half as it is. I'm going to change the division sign to multiplication. And all I have to do is flip 3 over 1, which would give me 1 third. The next thing I'm going to try to do is to simplify before I multiply. But really, there's nothing here to be simplified. So honestly, I just need to multiply across. So 1 times 1 is equal to 1 and 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Therefore, our complex fraction, 1 half divided by 3, is just equal to 1 sixth. Let's talk about how we would simplify the complex fraction, 1 half divided by 3 fourths. So the first thing we're going to do is rewrite that in an alternate form as 1 half divided by 3 fourths. Since these are both fractions, we don't need to convert to improper fraction. So our first step here is going to be multiply by the reciprocal. Remember, some people call that keep change change. We're going to leave the first fraction 1 half as it is. We're going to change the division sign to a multiplication sign, and the reciprocal of 3 fourths is 4 thirds. The next step we're going to do here is to simplify before we multiply. And you may be wondering, how do we do that? Well, here's how. We're going to look in the numerator and denominator to see if there are any common factors. We can divide 2 by 2, just like we can divide 4 by 2. And we are going to simplify that to be 1 over 2 divided by 2 is 1 times 4 divided by 2 is 2 over 3. And the reason why we simplify before we multiply is to keep our numbers smaller. It may seem like it's not necessary for this particular example, and it's not. But when our numbers get larger, the smaller we can reduce them down to, the easier our math is going to be for us. So the next thing we're going to do is to multiply across. So 1 times 2 equals 2, and 1 times 3 equals 3. 
Therefore, the complex fraction 1 half divided by 3 fourths is just equal to 2 thirds. So that's it, class. Now you know what complex fractions are and how to simplify them. Good luck.